first thing we're going to do is remove the tail linkage rod from the tail pitch lever. So we're going to reach under here and just pop that off. Remove the vertical tail fin. And you'll do this using your 1.5 millimeter Allen key. Now that you have removed the vertical tail fin, you will use a small Phillips head screwdriver and you will remove the three Phillips head screws that are located on the tail case. Now that you've removed the screws from the tail case, simply grab both halves of the tail case and pull them apart. They should come off rather easily. So the next thing we're going to do to remove the tail boom after we have removed the tail case is we're going to disconnect the rudder servo from the gyro. To do this, all we're going to do is pull the wire out and simply pull apart the connector. Next thing we're going to do is remove the tail boom support braces. We have one here on this side and we have another on this side. These, to remove this, you just use a basic Phillips head screwdriver. Now that we have disconnected the tail boom supports, all we're going to do now is loosen up the four frame screws that hold the boom into the frame. They are one, two, three, four. You don't need to remove the screws completely, you just need to loosen them so that the tail boom is able to slide out. Once you've loosened the screws, you should be able to simply slide the boom out and simply pull the boom completely away from the frame. Now that we have the boom off of the helicopter, we need to remove all of the various assemblies that are left on the tail boom, namely the horizontal tail fin, the tail pushrod guides, and the tail servo mounts. So the first thing we're going to do is that we are going to remove the control linkage, and all we're going to do is simply snap the linkage out of the guide and do that for the second guide as well and then finally to remove it from the servo you just simply pop it off. The next thing we're going to do is remove the tail servo, loosen up the tail servo support. You don't need to remove the screw completely, just loosen it up and once you've loosened it just simply slide it off the tail boom and set that off to the side. Next, what we're going to do is remove the control linkage guide supports. To do that, all you need to do is simply slide them off the tail. And finally, to remove the horizontal Stabilizer, use your Phillips head screwdriver. Loosen the two screws that are on top. Again, you don't need to take it off completely. Simply loosen it up and slide the boom out. All right, so we have our new tail boom here. Now, before we get started, you need to take note of the tail boom and its orientation. On one end, what you'll see here is a hole. This is the side that is attached to your tail case. On the other end, you'll see a slot. Now, what you'll see closely is that on one side there is a slot, but on the other side there is a hole. You need to pay attention to this as the slot goes on the left side of the helicopter and the hole goes on to the right side. First thing you're going to do is take the horizontal stabilizer and simply slide the tail boom into the mount. At this point in time, you do not want to tighten down the stabilizer as you'll need to adjust it later on. Next thing you want to do is put on the linkage support guides. Now what you'll notice is that there is two linkage support guides. One has a long bottom and the other has a short bottom. The long bottom goes on to the front of the tail boom and the short bottom goes on 
to the back of the tailbone. So now that you have identified which support goes on where, simply slide it onto the tailbone and do the same thing for the second support. And then, next thing we're going to do is we are going to reinstall the tail servo. To do this, simply grab the tail servo. Take note that the output should be towards the front of the helicopter. And simply slide that onto the tail boom. Again, do not tighten the tail servo into place yet, as this will be adjusted when the tail boom is reinserted back into the helicopter. So next thing I'm going to do is reinstall the tail boom into the frame of the helicopter. The easiest way to do this is to use a piece of string that is a bit longer than the tail boom and to tie a small weight at one end. Make sure the weight can actually fit inside through the tail boom. Then you're going to take the weight and slide it through, let it drop through the tail boom. You're going to take the other end of the string and tie it to the belt. Now that we have the string securely tied to the belt, we are going to pull the belt through the tail boom, ensuring that the belt doesn't get twisted and taking note of the orientation of the boom. When, you, when the boom reaches the frame of the helicopter, push the boom into the helicopter, making sure that the slot on the boom slides properly into the frame of the helicopter. Once the boom is in the frame of the helicopter, you can remove the string. Now that we have the tail boom back into the frame of the helicopter, we're going to plug in the tail servo back into the gyro. And we're going to then reattach the tail boom supports using our Phillips head screwdriver. Now that we have the tail boom supports installed, we're going to reinstall the tail case assembly. Make sure that you have the belt oriented the proper way. When looking down the tail boom of the belt, make sure that it's straight with the pulley and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise when viewing the helicopter from the tail. Once you've done that, take the tail case assembly and position the belt over the pulley. Reassemble the other side, squeeze the two halves together, and then using your Phillips head screwdriver, reinstall the screws that were used to hold the tail case in place. Now that we have the tail case installed, we're going to reinstall the vertical tail fin. I'm going to reinstall both screws before tightening the first one down to make sure that it is properly aligned. Once you have both screws in, tighten them both down completely. Now that you have the tail assembly reinstalled, you need to set the tail belt tension. As you can see currently right now, the belt tension is too loose and the way we're going to set the tension is by taking a grip of the frame and a grip of the tail and we're actually going to pull the two apart. Now once we've pulled the two assemblies apart, you should see the belt is much tighter and you should be able to push down with moderate pressure and feel the tension of the belt. Now that the tension has been set correctly, we can tighten the tailbone down into the frame. All right, now that we have the 
belt tension set and the tail boom tightened in the frame, we're going to use our Phillips head screwdriver and tighten down the horizontal stabilizer. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to reinstall the tail control linkage push rod. And what we're going to do first is that we're going to put the linkage rod into the guides. And then we are going to snap the linkage back onto the control ball on the servo. And finally, onto the tail pitch lever. Now, before you tighten down the servo onto the tail boom, you'll need to do mechanical setup.